If you happen to be like apples, it's like having you as part of the competition. Ibig sabihin, ibig sabihin, as apples, pwede pare-pareho yung ulay, pare-pareho ang ginagawa natin, pare-pareho ang ginagawa natin. Would you imagine, for example, that the apples represent your competition? Competition. Tama. Marami kayo yung competition. Tama po ba? May internal at external. At marami pang factors. Even the environment right now tells us about what? Part of the competition. Right? Agree? Okay. Now, given that scenario as apples, paano kung pare-pareho lang kayo na nandiyan? Look at this, everyone. Everything equal. Iba-ibang property. Pare-pareho ang property na pinagdaya ninyo. But then again, how do you differentiate from the rest of your competition internal man yan or external? Now, given that if the apples represent competition and you're just part of the competition and you're just part of the apple, you never know, you will never know that you will be what? Given the chance, given by your customers. Why? Walang kaibahan. Sinabi ko na kayo ng keyword, you have to disrupt. You have to be different and you need to stand out similarly as always. We need to say, you want to be an Alexander, right? The first thing you need to do is to stand out, be different. By way of what? In terms of your selling fundamentals, you have to be different. Kasi bakit hindi? Pag pareho lang kayo ng katulad ng apples, then pareho lang makalaban natin, anong pinagkain natin? Wala. Kaya nga tinitrain kayo eh. Kaya nga tinitrain tayo. Kaya nga tinagpagkaluhan natin ang move natin. So that we can strategize and execute it well. Without doing so, we'll just be one part of that apples and pare-pareho. Nothing will stand up. Nothing will be different. So ang challenge ko eh everyone. You have to be the audience among others. But as it tells you, you have to stand up among certain conditions. You have to stand up and not just a typical competitor with you. Are you ready? Are we We have to be one, but always amongst apple. We have to be different, but we have to one. Stand up. Here we go. Okay, now, the first point. Yan. Ito siya sabi ko. Alam niyo po ba na ang career niyo for some people, and many people, not just in the country, is by is what we call as before career. Akin. Kaya, magtatanong lang muna po ako. Yung trabaho ko po na natin yung ito, first job? No. No. Sige. Sino ang yung unang trabaho? O ano ang unang trabaho? Isipin nyo na lang po, ang ano unang trabaho nyo na talagang dahil wala kang mapasukang trabaho, iyon ang pinasok mo. Can somebody share? Lahat po ba nasa sales na yung unang mga trabaho? Hindi nyo rin. Okay. But by default, ang unang karera na pinapasok natin, ano? Magbenta. Tama po? Magpalansal ka, nagbebenta ka. Hindi ka makapasok ang trabaho, eto ngayon ang opening para sa insurance company. Ay, pasok ka na, magbebenta na ako. Correct? O, sa sabi niya, o, kinyapan, kayo ang nagpapasok ng benta, kayo ang buhay ng lahat ng organisasyon ng kumpanya. Ang galing? If only for that, you have to be what? Hindi ko sasabing magyabang tayo. If only for that, is you have to be impressive on yourself. Impress mo sa rin mo na you are really on top of the organization. Ito yung sinasabi ko kanina. Look at the board, everyone, na a typical salesperson always remember, sabi nga natin generally, they are typical dominant. So, ibig sabihin kung ang salesperson ay eh, dominante driver for one at yung customer mo driver, what will happen? What would be the outcome? The outcome would be clashes and sabi natin, misunderstandings, probably unresolved issues kung existing mo pa siya, and then no objectives, both sides will be met. So, ano ibig sabihin? Loser, loser ito. Kung pareho kayong driver. Now, kung ang salesperson eh steadiness. Ano yung steadiness? Typical follower. Sabi nga natin, at ang customer mo, generally, a driver, what would be the outcome? First, 
there would be active listening. So, ibig sabihin, mas magkakaroon ng tamang comprehension ang bawat isa. Next, clarity in conversation. Nakaklarify yung mga detalye. It may not be analytical, everyone, but clarity the way you converse with them. And then it will solve problem. Yes. And lastly, higher chance of closing a deal, closing a sales, or trading ng ating potential customer. So again, anong key? Ang key dapat, di ba? Ang key, eh, uh, remember na dapat, alam natin how do we adjust the right approach if we know exactly the personality of your customer or buyer. But, ang key doon, naiintindihan natin dapat ang ating personality. Okay. You have first to have that buy-in with you. Why? It's always about that, uh, you know, that behavioral key. Okay, pwede ko lang ha? We have to have that behavioral It's always about our attitude towards our life and always about our Earlier, to really position ourselves, di ba? I've really taken a lot of things on uh, our form. Now with this, how will you have that buy-in? Kasi kailangan para sa Royal Drew Orange, bentang-benta mo na kailan na isang pirano at bentang-benta mo na sa sa makapak, makakarinig sa kanila, makakapanood sa kanila, na orange taste pa lang, e bentang-benta na. Doon pa lamang na-convince na ako na bibilin ko na yung, yung soft drinks na yon. Now, in your case right now, how can you sell something? How can you be the superstar of sales if, for example, to begin with, you don't have the buy-in within? Wala ka pati nung, nung, ano, nung, nung winner's mindset. Now, buy-in within is about what? Loving and knowing exactly and believing in what you do. Ito, believing in the company and the organization. Believing in the product and services. I mean, believing in the system and the processes. And first, believing in yourself. That's where the magic of, you know, buy-in will come in. Done. Winning is a mindset. Winning is a mindset. It's all about in our mind. And sabi pa doon, if I remember, when your why is bigger versus your fear. Parang ganun na sabi niya. So, ibig sabihin everyone, ang mga pinag-uusapan natin is something that will help you improve your performance. At the end of the day, everyone, you have to lay your heart on the line. Can we show that particular slide? I would like to show this one, this last two slides that I hope that you will remember. You will be winning your game if you lay your heart on the line. Laying your heart on the line is when odds are high, when pressure is mounting. Alam nyo, pressure is a privilege. If you are not pressured, wala pong silbi ang buhay natin, walang spices yung life natin, walang spices yung ginagawa natin. And when fear is creeping, always go back your big reason of being there. So, ano big sabihin? Never back down. Never back down. Keep pushing, keep pushing, and mind winning at the end of the day when you lay your heart in this ito po yung challenge ko will you be a spectator or player a spectator who will just watch in the grandstand as the game unfolds or you will be the player who will play train and equip and you will be, you know, motivated to win that game. Everyone, lay your heart on the line. 
Again, challenge. Will you be the spectator? Or will you be the player who will win the game?